Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys in this uh, Dreamweaver CS55 tutorial I'm going to talk about the difference between an element uh, which is which has been set to uh, fixed uh, vis a vis an element which is uh, absolute they have certain similarities and they have uh, certain differences and uh, we're going to look at that okay guys have a look out here that the screen resolution that I have, uh, if I'm going to show it to you, is 1920 by 1080, which is a true HD uh, resolution. And in my local side folder, I'm going to use an image which is uh, also 1920 by 1080. Alright, so it's basically going to occupy the whole uh, width of my monitor or the web page. Right, let's get back to Dreamweaver. First things first, let me save the document up. Alright, so in the title tag, guys, I'm gonna put uh, absolute and fixed position. Alright, absolute and fixed position. Let me save the document up. Position property. Basically, we're going to look at uh, the position property and focus on absolute and uh, fixed position, the differences and the similarities. Right. Let me save the document up. Okay, guys. The first thing that I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to go to uh, insert. I'm going to go down to layer objects. I'm gonna, then I'm going to choose AP Dev. All right. Uh, so, guys, as you can see out here, an AP dev has been uh, inserted and here's the code guys that's line number 20 uh, which is uh, encapsulated by the body tags opening and the closing body tags and uh, not only that this style has been automatically generated so we have the opening style tag which also means that I have the closing style tag I have the text attribute guys and these are the rules for the there were the division that AP dev AP stands for absolutely position dev. Right. That's what I'm gonna do is out here where you see the uh, CSS tiles. I can double click on AP dev one, then I can go to the positioning category. Right. Here you can see that the position has been set to absolute. Guys, the uh, the default is static and uh, but for an AP dev, it's always absolute. Right. Now, guys, I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to make use of this placement. I'm going to use the top, right, bottom, and left uh, uh, placements very soon. See, once you uh, change the position from a static to an absolute, if it is anything but, uh, you know, anything but uh, static, then you can use these placements. So I'm going to say bottom zero right I'm also gonna say left zero pixels right then I'm gonna say apply and you can actually see that it's stuck itself in the bottom left corner not only that guys I'm gonna apply some uh, solid uh, two pixels of the border all right cool uh, very very cool guys uh, next what I'm gonna do is let me hit enter and let me get in uh, one more absolutely position dip. So I'm going to say insert layer objects A B dev. All right. And uh, here's the code, guys. Line number 32. And I, I would like to say something, guys. If you're new to Dreamweaver, if you are uh, getting to know the world of uh, web development, uh, if you're an entrant to Dreamweaver, if you're learning Dreamweaver, then uh, it's a great idea to it's okay to uh, use the um, you know the menu driven options but then whatever changes are taking place you should uh, pay a lot of attention to that so this one line of code was generated also uh, this bit of code was generated just now okay when the second of uh, the AP dev second AP dev was created this bit of code was generated and this is the uh, second absolutely position dev guys you can see the position is absolute the width is 200 uh, the height is 115 this is the background color all right uh, 
I'm going to change the background color for the second one. Let's say to a different color. And uh, where you see the first AP dev, I'm going to insert uh, some text out there. I'm going to say this div is absolutely positioned. Right. Which it is. This div is absolutely positioned. Okay. I'm going to make a change now. I'm going to click on the second AP div. All right. I'm going to make sure that it does not remain an AP div. I'm going to change it to fixed. All right. Uh, nothing has actually changed, but it will. So you'll soon see the difference. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to apply a right march, uh, right placement, right position of zero pixels and a bottom of zero. And if I say apply and say OK, uh, you can't see anything at all. But if I go to the live view, you can actually see that it stuck itself in the bottom right corner. So this went into the you know the left corner. This went to the right corner. Let me go back to the rule. Also apply um, you know a solid two px of uh, margin. Cool. And uh, let me expand this area. And where you see the code for the second AP div, I'm going to say this div is uh, fixed in property. Right. So this div is fixed and this div is absolutely positioned. Let me just go in and uh, just increase the font size so you can see things very clearly. Right. Let me change the, the background color to a lighter color. Mm. Yep. Right. Let me take a preview in, uh, let's say, my preferred browser, most customizable browser, Firefox. Let me save the changes up. And let's see how things look like right now. So this is my uh, computer screen of the web page. And uh, this absolutely positioned div has uh, tucked itself in the left bottom corner. And the fixed div has tucked itself in the bottom right corner. So so actually, uh, it, it seems that uh, both of them actually do the same thing. But do they actually do the same thing? Do they actually behave the same way? They do not. Uh, right now, you, you can't make out any difference. All right. Now, we, we can't see any difference out here, but we'll soon see. Uh, next, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and uh, let me make sure that the cursor is after the second div. All right. And here I'm going to insert a picture, the size of which is exactly the size of my screen. So I'm going to say insert image. And I'll dig inside my images folder. I'll pick up this image. I'm going to say OK. Uh, let me give it a, 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 an alternate text. Right. Let me say OK. And uh, guys, let's let's go to the code view momentarily and let's let's uh, examine the code. So we have the opening uh, image tag. You didn't, don't actually need to close it, guys. Then you have the src attribute, which points to the wallpaper or jpg image uh, basically um, we have the images folder inside which we have the wallpaper or jpg this is the width and this is the height attribute guys so that's 1920 by 1080 pixels and the alternate text says the alternate attribute says you know, that it's it's a natural picture cool if i go to the split view you can actually see that both the divs or whether it's absolute or fixed actually have come over or they are overlapping the picture and uh, the picture although in the code view seems to start after the divs is actually above the the divs you know so if i show uh, you a, a preview in firefox uh, you can actually see that uh, the picture starts uh, before the divisions actually start so the the order is not important out here you can see that though the divisions appear before the image, the image actually appears before the divs. Basically, these divs are floating, all right, and uh, that's that's the reason that the image goes under and above 
these uh, so that's one behavior you need to understand that uh, you know these kind of divs uh, actually float right but but again uh, I, I can't see any difference uh, till now so where does the difference come from okay let's let's explain that too let me close the uh, preview in Firefox let me go back to Dreamweaver guys and now I'm gonna play a trick let me just copy line number 37 let's say a control C on my keyboard let me hit enter let me paste it right basically now I'll have two pictures one under the other just the way I have two devs now let me take you uh, through the preview now right where it comes okay now on 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 first look uh, everything looks just the same everything looks just the same nothing has actually changed but now I'm gonna scroll and guys as you can uh, see that uh, as I'm scrolling the absolute position div actually flies off the screen you know it goes up and this is the second picture guys but in this second picture what is actually missing is the absolutely position div and the fixed div is cemented is uh, you know is sticking to its ground it's, it's not moving it's not budging from where it was so that's the major difference when it comes to the absolutely position divs and the fixed divs although we can make sure that the uh, you know let me scroll again let me get it back so this is the first picture under which we have the second picture when I get the first picture uh, into the view uh, both of them are tucked in the left top, uh, left bottom and right bottom corners but when I scroll uh, the page and uh, display the second picture the absolutely position div actually scrolls off the screen but the fixed div does not right so that's uh, something that you need to understand guys never mind uh, this uh, yet another uh, big difference and uh, we'll uh, check that out too let me say a file and a new right this time again I'm gonna change the doc type to HTML5 let me hit create and this time uh, let me give it a title as well so I'm gonna say another difference right guys difference right difference am I right with the spelling I hope so right so let me save the uh, document up now guys uh, have a look out here I'm gonna insert a static div now basically when you insert a div it's, it's always static that's the default so I'm gonna go to layout objects I'm gonna say div tag this time and uh, where the ID is I'm gonna type static div now guys when you're working with the HTML CSS it's really important that you understand the uh, few concepts very clearly uh, one of them is the difference between an inline element and a block element uh, then the concept of uh, the position property is extremely extremely important uh, you you need it a lot you will need it at every step so it's very important that you understand the position property very very clearly guys and then I'm gonna hit the new CSS rule uh, button I'm gonna make sure that it, the rule that is getting saved itself in this document only basically I'm creating an internal or an embedded style for this tutorial only but the professional way of working is to create an external style sheet by selecting this option right and uh, let me say okay and guys you can see that the contextual selector has been automatically picked up as an ID and an ID always applies to only one HTML element per page right then guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the background category let me select a, a background color let's say this one let me go to the uh, box category let me say I would want a 500 pixels wide and a 500 pixels uh, high the height for the div should be 500 pixels and uh, let me also set the left and the right margins to be auto that will ensure that the div will center itself let me apply a thin border as well so that's solid uh, thin and uh, let me say okay and let me say okay once again guys you can see that the div has actually appeared uh, 
in the center horizontally so let me show you a preview in let's say firefox after saving the changes and here's the div which is a perfect square 500 uh, pixels in height and 500 pixels in width let me go back to gweaver now let's understand another major difference between um, fixed and absolutely positioned elements I'm going to make sure that the cursor is inside the div. As you can see out here in the code view, the cursor is inside the div. I'm going to say insert layer objects AP div. And the moment I do that, guys, you can actually see that the div has actually tucked itself in the top left corner, which is fine. I'm going to double click on the rule for the AP div. I'm going to go to the, uh, the positioning category, guys. Uh, rather yeah i'm going to go to the positioning category and uh, you can actually see that it's an absolutely positioned div okay i'm going to set the top and the left placements to be uh zero pixels each i'm going to say okay and the moment i do that guys you can actually see that it leaves the div although if you see the code it's sandwiched in between the fixed static div okay but the absolutely positioned div will jump off and uh, tuck itself in the corner as you can see out here right uh, because the it then becomes the top and the left positions then become relative to the um, to the web page and not the div itself and is there a way i can actually change that yes there is if i go to the static div i can double click i can go to the positioning guys right now this uh, div is actually a static div so whether I mention it or not, it's, it means that it's a static div. But if I change a static div to the positioning category, let's say to a relative div, let's say apply and say, okay, you can actually see that my absolutely positioned div actually comes back inside the static div. So guys, this is how, uh, you know, the absolutely positioned divs behave. If the outer parent or the parent, uh, the containing parent is actually, uh, a relative is a, re a relative element then the absolutely positioned element is relative to the is relative to the relative element out you know the the parent outside all right so uh, that's that's uh, something uh, good for you to control things uh, on your web page the flow right let me show you a preview in uh, firefox so you can actually see that what you know the absolutely positioned div which has which had actually left the bounds had actually has actually come back right now let's talk about um, fixed divs now this a this is an AP div guys all right and if I double click in fact how can I be sure that's an AP div you see there's an AP element out here and you can see that uh, it says that the AP div one appears in this uh, tab so just simply because it appears in this tab you can be sure that's an absolutely positioned element all right and it clearly says out here the position is absolute that's why it's an ap div all right i'm going to make a change i'm going to change this absolute to a fixed right and let me go to the live view and guys the moment i change it to a fixed you can see that it's left the bounds once again and it's come off uh, the boundary of the static div and it's stuck itself in the top left corner Right, let me show you a preview in Firefox. So guys, uh, an absolutely positioned element can be contained in a relative element uh, with the, you know, when I said the left and the top position to zero each. But the moment I make it a fixed element, it's actually come off the boundaries and it's stuck itself. So it's become relative to the body of the web page. All right. So guys uh, we have seen two major differences when it comes to the absolutely positioned divs and the fixed divs or, or the fixed elements not all, you know you can apply the uh, these properties not only to divs but to other elements like images as well or, or, or any other element you see right so uh, guys i hope you learned something from this tutorial enjoyed it and i hope to see you very soon with yet another uh, dreamweaver html css tutorial it could be or it could be flash with the uh, Action Strip 3. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.